Hello team, Fullest. This is again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the open canal. So today we are here to about to do demo slash review. I picked up some few Elf's cosmetic products. I've shown you guys that video. You guys have seen those products. So today I want to come and try just one of their eyeshadow. So I pick up these two mini eyeshadows from the Elf's cosmetic. Um, I, th I think this retails for three euros or something. Um, but if you check their website, you will see it. But this is what I picked up. So I picked this green and then I picked this color here. So I want to come and really try this color right now because I have something in my head that I want to do with this one. This one will definitely come back later and play with it. Um, so these are the shadows. Let's open it. So these are the eyeshadows. They are very, very, the palette is so small. Um, this is like very travel friendly if you are going for a weekend Somewhere you don't want to take a lot and you're into nude makeup like this is perfect You don't even need to stress yourself. It's already lined. You know how to do your makeup. So this is what it looks like I've already um, Done my eyes my eyebrow and I've primed my eyes. So now let's just um, Play with this shadow and let's see what we can create with this makeup look but before we jump into this video if you're not part of the team fullest family what are you waiting for make sure you press on that red button there that says subscribe and press on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video i do upload videos monday wednesday and friday sometimes i do upload videos every day i'm still experimenting with the youtube upload time so bear with me but all my videos are on premiums but you guys can see when i upload a new video so let's try i got some few brushes lying down here in front of me so first let's take this brush i want to i want to put this darker shade on the outer corner so we are going to take this light um this light shade here we're going to just dab it and use it to transition it's more like a nude shade oh this is like super nude okay let's just use this to set the eyes because um and then we're just going to blend this is like real nude let's use this to set the eyes and then we're just going to put the glitter shade on top of it you guys can see um, yo the nude is very very pigment um it is very very nice it's like pigmental so we're just gonna blend it um on the crease we're just gonna blend it very very smoothly just take a little bit of the nude shade i want to put it right here on the in the corner of the eyes like right there make sure everything is blend smoothly yep so this is it so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take another smaller brush i'm going to take this dark shade here but i'm just going to take a little bit of that dark shade i'm going to put it on top of that nude brown i used and i'm just going to blend that into the my transition just a little bit just a little bit you don't want to take too much because this this dark this shade is pigmental it's really pigment so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna take a little bit I'm just gonna press it on top and then use that to transition because of the nude um, creamy shade is on top of it so it's not going to make it like super super dark on the transition so it's just going to give it like a really nice light brown so yeah just to create our own transition shade so that's why we're just using that light brown using it to create a nice light brown to transition with so now we're done i'm just going to take a more smaller and precise brush which brush should i take i thought i thought i already choose a brush or did i put it back 
No, well, let's just use this one. I'm going to take this darker shade. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner, like right here. Yo, this shade is pigmento. It's very, very pigment. Just have to bring it inwards a little bit. Oh, this is so beautiful. Just take a little bit and dab it. Just gonna dab it just to make the shade more intense. Okay, now I'm going in with this um, brush that I use just so that I can blend everything very smoothly. To take a little bit more of the shade. Can you guys see how beautiful that shade is? So we're gonna do the same thing on these other eyes. I'm just gonna take that shade. I'm going a little bit inwards and then try to blend it out a little bit. Take a little bit more of the shade. Just try to darken the outer corner. I'm going to take that brush and just trying to like blend everything smoothly. Yep. Hmm. Add a little bit on this side and just like blend it smoothly inside. Take a little bit and do the same thing here. Just go like a circular motion, but just on the outer corner. And now I'm just going to take this brush and just smooth everything, make sure everything looks smoother. So now we've done that. Oh. I'm going to take this shade here. I'm first going to take this light shade. I'm going to put it right on the inner corner. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it like right on top of there. I'm going to use my finger first. Oh. You guys see how pigment that is? Oh, this is so beautiful. And I'm just going to take this other shade. I'm going to dab it on top. Oh, it's so good. Both of them look really beautiful. Let's try this other side. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Mm. Okay, wipe my finger first. But I love the way how both of the shade looks, and I'm just going to take um a brush trying to blend the outer corner just to blend both shadows together just take a little bit of that just blend it together take a little bit of shade on the brush you guys, you guys can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to take that brush I used for the darker shade. Just to like 
blend it together. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to like blend everything smoothly. I feel like this is good. So now I'm just going to take my eyeliner. I'm going to line my eyes. So this is the eyeshadow. Tell me what do you guys think? I think it's not bad. Quite okay. It's just that it's, this is too small. There's not much to play with, but it's quite okay. I'm kind of don't know the green. Okay, let's see how the green will turn out. But now I've done the eyes. I'm about to do my face. I'm almost out of this this um, primer, but I've already primed my face. I use my look um, makeup revelation eye cream setting spray I also use that and I also use my face moisturizer with my SPF because you know you go have some sensitive skin I'm going to take my Jeffree Star frosting highlighter situation oh hell no hell no that's that was way too much we want to have a glow but we don't want to look like this this the shining star i don't want to look just take a little bit whatever is on the brush a dab on the forehead and then she's blend this into the skin very very smoothly so now I'm going to take my L'Oreal infallible foundation in espresso Just gonna blend this into the skin very smoothly. Just gonna take one pump and let's do this other side. And so that's on the brush, just going to use this on the forehead. Just have to blend this foundation in very, very well. I'm just going to circular motion. So, shall I do the forehead? Okay, let's just do a little bit of the forehead. Let's draw like this. <laughs> so I'm just going to wet this 
sponge a little bit I'm going to use my primer prime water just a little bit so guys this is the highlighter this is how we highlight so now it's time to blend I feel like I first want to blend this one before it get dry oh blends really smooth okay it blends really smooth into the skin I can barely see nothing let's blend this from first I wanted to pick up the setting powder but I didn't see like a great the lady that I watched that like almost have the same skin tone as I am when I saw she reviewed the setting powder and I didn't see a really great review so I thought you know what I do have like bunch of makeup revolution setting powder which I use all the time so instead of buying a new setting powder that maybe I'm not going to like and I didn't even want her to buy a setting powder so I thought let me just use it with the with the setting powder that I normally use because if I'm going to be using this concealer all the time I'm going to use the setting powder that I'm I'm currently using I'm not going to use another setting powder so I thought it's better to demo it with the setting powder I already have in the house the one I'm already loving and using one thing I've noticed with this concealer it doesn't dry fast like it doesn't really dry that fast like some concealer will dry out very very fast but this one no it's still wet it's an hydrating concealer so it's still wet not 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 dry that's good because sometimes when a concealer dry out oof, lord you're going to need all your muscles to start blending and making sure everything is looking good I'm just trying to shape the edges make sure everything is blended smoothly yep the nose um, yeah I'm just going to take um, my foundation brush and just like blend the edges because I don't want to look make sure everything is smoothing out yep so now that everything is smoothing out I'm going to take my makeup revolution setting powder because this is the one that I use most of the time so I feel like it just makes sense to use that which I normally use 90% when I do my makeup I always reach out for this setting powder I'm just gonna use it to set I hope it doesn't look oily on my skin it's such it really is like i don't know it makes my own eyes look really nice but i even love the 16 hours the matte one that they came out with i love how that one makes my on the eyes like it give me this really nice photo finish on the eye and that's the same thing i'm getting with this one just that this one even when i apply 
the setting powder on it it's not like dry dry it doesn't really like dry out it still looks like my under eye is still wet that is the that is the feeling that I'm getting here like my under eye is still wet that's what that's how it's looking like it's pretty nice it's good okay I'm just going to set just gonna add a little bit of more powder so now you know what we're going to bronze let's just bronze the face first where is my bronzer I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution bronzer. This is in deep. I'm going to use this one. Um, just where I didn't put any shade like, ooh, ooh. Let's use that bronze to bronze. Just bronze, bronze, bronze. I love the the look that the under eye is giving me. Yo, and this bronzer is really cute, guys. This bronzer is really, really cute. I really do like it. The deep is like my favorite for now. It's what I have been using like the most <laughs> and so I've been using it the most so it's like that's like my favorite one now I want to see if I can use this one also to contour my nose let me just a little bit hmm. A little bit is okay but you don't want to go too much in with this on the nose because this is dark it's like they're gonna blend it like into the eyebrow up like this okay I do love it. So now let's just um, get rid of this excess powder on the face. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution setting powder. Just use this to get rid of all this excess powder. If there's any. Yes, it does. It does actually no powder on the face, but I'm just gonna use this on top. This dark shade here. I'm going to use this in the my bottom lash. I'm going to use that on the needle. Just oh my god, my eyes are so sensitive. I don't want to cry guys
yeah i feel like that's good so now let's just quickly do the lip don't even know what i want to use on the lip should we go for something bold and red i don't know let's try this So this is the Nabla Cosmetic Lipstick, looking good, I'm not going to be using highlighter because I'm just going out, I'm just going to take a little bit of this bronzing shimmery bronzer, just a little bit and just add it on top here, that's going to act as a highlighter. So now it's time to set the face. Let's use my Makeup Revolution Oil from Just Set and Spray. So, beauties, this is the finished result with the mini eyeshadow. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I did a good job on the eyes? This is the overall look. I really love how this look turned out. Um, I'm using a new concealer, the Elf's um, Hydrating Concealer. That is what I'm using. You guys have already seen that video. So my on the eye looks very hydrating, but very illuminating, like very like awake compared to when I use other concealer, when I use matte concealer. But yeah, this is the finished result on the eyeshadow. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll pop by one of these days to do a quick get ready with me and try this um, other eyeshadow. But so far, so good. I really love how this is turning out. If you're somebody who is like learning how to do makeup, you don't know much about makeup, instead of buying all these expensive palettes, stuff like this is very, very easy. You can just manipulate it, try and learn. And when you get better, you invest. The reason why I'm buying all of this makeup is because I'm doing tutorials, okay, for you guys. But for some of you guys who are not doing any tutorials, you don't need to go and buy everything you can try something like this and just be working your way up the more you get better the more you invest more but yeah i really love how it turned out it's very very simple i love it the shadow the, the shimmery shade are very very pigment and i really really like them so let me know what you guys think in the comments box i will try and leave all the name of the products in the in the in the in the description <laughs> box in the description box i will leave everything in the description box and give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you guys very soon team fullest forget not to abonnere and hope you can see you next time on my channel and i did the makeup revolution body bronzer again this is what i've been wearing my skin is glowing so yeah see you guys very soon bye doeg